if you stop and think about it. This is 40 years of children's lives being changed, thus God's glorified. This is not about me or T, Reagan, Brody, our family. No, we were just tools in the toolbox. He knew that he had been put on earth by God to give children a chance at life. And uh, 40 years later, here we are. 40 years ago, Big Oak Ranch became a reality. What had been a dream was now 120 acres, five little boys and me living in a farmhouse. And when T and I would go out on a date, we had five boys with us everywhere we went. And I said, we're gonna raise about 80 kids. She said, okay, and never blinked. I knew that it was something that God had called him to do. And I knew that God wouldn't call him to do it if he wasn't gonna fulfill it. It was not uncommon for my mom to just automatically fix a huge dinner because she never knew who was going to be at our house and how many were going to be at our house. Well, I came home from the hospital to the boys' ranch. I literally grew up 100 feet that way. We thought everybody had 140 brothers and sisters. My memory of that is dad bringing home two boys who had been very hurt. They were very dirty. Clothes were very dirty, their bodies were very dirty, their feet had sores in them where they had worn too small of shoes for too long. Of course, my dad, he's big and he's nothing but love and a huge teddy bear, bringing them home in his arms and cleaning them up. And I remember my brother going and getting all of his pajamas, just a big old wad in his arms and coming and just dropping it at the boy's feet. And my memories of that is bringing Band-Aids and medicine, knowing that was one thing I could do. And my parents just always showing and always modeling love and, and selflessness. I always say the best way to learn is to watch. And we got to watch two selfless people live it every single day and my mom and my dad. When our son was 11 years old, he said, Dad, I want to play in the NFL. I said, okay. As I moved forward into playing in high school and then went and played at Alabama and then went and played in the NFL, I realized that God was preparing me with this life that I'd grown up in to make sure that everybody knows what it is that they're doing and everybody's doing it in harmony. God's been faithful to take care of our family. Gorgeous, beautiful model, basketball player, great mom. Somebody plays football at Alabama, NFL, a great dad, and is now. And cute and handsome too. Thanks, Mom. How blessed are we that our daughter would come back here. She said, Dad, I don't want to be in charge of everything. Just give me the children and leave me alone. Perfect. And now she handles all child care. She's the one with the psychology degree and the master's in counseling and all these different things. And my sister has probably the biggest heart of anyone that I know. Almost two years ago, Brody came in, he and his wife, after he retired and done business world and was very successful. And he said, the kids have always had a special place in my heart. If you have me, I'd like to come back and join you and Reagan. My role now would be, I handle day-to-day -day operations of Big Oak Boys Ranch, Big Oak Girls Ranch, and Westbrook Christian School. The last year and a half, these two have built the best team at Big Oak Ranch ever. It's enabled me to write more books or go do a conference or go visit with a group of people and just challenge folks about being the best dad and mom they can be. People ask me, well, is your dad retiring? Anyone that knows John Cruel knows John Cruel is not retiring. He's not going anywhere. He's not slowing down. And he's not getting any less involved with Big Oak Ranch. It's just he's now getting to do things that he didn't get to do before. He's now getting to go out and help more people and honestly share the word of what it is we do at Big Oak Ranch. We're a home for orphan, neglected, abused, abandoned kids. We have 19 homes and we have 146 kids and we have a school that has 650 kids in it. We've had nearly 2,000 kids that have called Big Oak Ranch their home and that I've personally called my brothers and my sisters. As far as we know, we're the only children's home in America that will send you to college, to send you to a trade school, to help you get on your feet. Because when we say we want to give you every chance at life, we mean it. The ranch has been supported for 40 years by private donors. And without them, nothing you see today would be possible. 
and uh, we cannot thank them enough because without them we don't get to pour into the lives of our children and that's really at the end of the day what God put us on earth to do was to take care of kids. I don't have the vocabulary to express when I see my son and daughter looking at a little girl who had been horrifically abused. Her mom said, pack a bag, I want to take you somewhere special and drops her off at our front door. And this little girl's abandoned, she's hurt. And then Brody looks at the little girl and makes the same four promises I've made for 40 years. That we love you. I will never lie to you. We'll stick with you till you're grown. And there's boundaries drawn across them. My dad's been able to make these kids these promises and now moving forward, uh, I get to make the same promises. When I see him take that little girl's face in his hands and he looks her in the eyes and he just says, and you get one extra promise. As long as me and my sister breathe, no one's ever gonna hurt you like this again. And those kids don't doubt for a second how he feels about them and, and the protectiveness he has over them in their lives. We always have to grow with the times and grow with the ministry. But more than anything, we'll be faithful to the cause that it was 40 years ago, and that's to relieve the suffering of children.